piece of junk. Hey, welcome to Trash Compactor. In this episode, I'm just going to be showing you how to paint the pauldrons that are available in my Etsy store. All the pauldrons are exactly the same and they work by clipping onto a Stormtrooper. So as you can see, I've got one here with the Sand Trooper pack. And the way the pauldrons go on is they just click on over the shoulder and literally round the neck and then they stay on. Easy to remove, easy to put on, the rest on, they don't go anywhere, they're quite good. Trouble is they're all just black. So the black's good because it literally gives you the base. You can paint it if you wish, but you don't have to. But very difficult to see on the camera. But if I can try to focus in, don't know how good that is. There is almost like a raised ridge around, as you can see, where the paint needs to go, which makes it quite easy to paint up to. It's fiddly, uh, but the good thing is, if you do make a mistake, you just get a little bit of black gloss and you can touch it up. So, camera's gone out of focus, give it a moment. There we go. So to paint this, just get a little pot or something. I'm blah, eating tape. Blah, blah. Make sure. So I'm just gonna stick a bit of tape down here just to put my paint on. Uh, you can use little pads or anything like that, but a little bit of sad tape sometimes quite good. And I'm only using this really because I don't wanna fill up my space with uh, lots of little pots. I usually use these little coffee lid things for doing my painting and then when they dry out I reuse them. Um, they're, they're great for sticking on tins and stuff. So uh, yeah, we've got hundreds of them as we drink a lot of coffee. Um, so the key thing for these is you really need to use a good quality paint. I have had issues where the paint I'm using is quite watery and what you do is you find you need to multiple layers. So I've had pretty good coverage with these colours. So I think these are the, uh, I always struggle with this, these Valigio paints are quite good. They've got quite good coverage. Somebody's recommended to me Citadel paints and things, which um, I've I've not gone down that route. I may venture into them to see what they're like, but they rate, everyone says what such good quality paints they are. Um, I started off with Humbrol when I just started. I've got quite a lot of humble paints, as you can sort of see by my workspace. So I'm not one for throwing things away, so I will just utilize those until they run out and then I'll start to replace them. Um, but I do I do like I do like these paints. They 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 just give me a really nice coverage, which is what I quite like. So, um, most popular colour for a uh, pauldron, for a sand trooper. I do apologise if you can hear a bit of weird background noise in the back of this. There's some, uh, with it being locked down, there's some children playing in the garden in the house next door and they're rather noisy. I'll try to uh, pause and restart as uh, they make noise. So, put a good blob of orange paint on there. Uh, I'm using a sort of pretty medium sized brush I guess I would probably call one of these a small brush that would go sort of medium to large so I usually use one of these key thing is just making sure you've got a brush that's easy to control because you just want to be moving the paint around so I'm going to give the brush tip a really 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 good covering we go make sure it's totally all absorbed in and here's the tricky part is it's a case of making sure you've got no fluff or bits on your pauldron I tend to hold them at a bit of an angle and then I put my paintbrush on and then I work towards the lip literally just dabbing slightly rather than brushing the reason for that is is the paint will then move up to the ridge and it will happily happily sit there and give you a nice neat edge on your pauldron the one thing you've got to be careful of is air bubbles so when you see an air bubble just try to burst it with your brush so as you can see i'm literally gently gently daubing the paint on 
and the paint is going up to the edge of the ridge. So I'm being quite, I am being quite generous with my paint. And I'm going to leave this to dry for quite a while when it's finished and you'll get a nice smooth finish over the top of it with no brush marks showing. But the key thing, get them air bubbles out. Yep. Now I usually wear my glasses when I do things like this, but um, I don't know where I've put them, so. <laughs> and they're not on my head. There you go. It's very tricky trying to do this in the camera because you can't really see. So. I've got the little indent there, so I need to make sure I don't cover that. And then we've got just around that little indent is a tiny little pointed triangular part. Again, if I'm just gentle with daubing my brush, that will move into and stick to the ridge. Oh. Connect them two up. bubbles there just get rid of those stick a bit more paint on be a little bit more generous oh, and the children next door just happens so there we go that's covered that's gone around the edges now all I need to do is leave that to sit and dry off there's one pauldron painted. So we'll leave that now to dry off. I'll go ahead and I'll paint the rest. Right, so they've all dried off now, so uh, they've uh, got a good covering on them. So where I made a small mistake on the white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, black gloss and just touch up a little bit of the mistake and just add a little bit of black to some of the others. So for this I'm going to use a super fine brush. This is a really super fine brush, It's uh, you probably can't, it probably doesn't even show up on camera. Still can't find my glasses. So wish me luck. So give me a little glass of paint and get some of that. Let's take a little bit off the brush, don't too much. And keeping that where it is, literally just going to gently touch up where that white smudged over the edge. Right, I'm going to pick it up because I really can't see. <laughs> really, same principle as before. I want to get enough paint on the edge of my brush and just cause the paint to push up to the edge. There we go. So 
So I've touched up my little smudge. It's worked quite nicely. Put a little bit on the top there. And then with resin you get sometimes you get a little bit of rub on it which goes a little bit grey. So what I'm just gonna do is gently with a little bit of paint is literally on these little parts here is just give them a slight coat of the gloss just to make them pop a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just doing the surface. Also I'm gonna stick a little bit of a blob just there just to neaten off that rounded corner there we go. so there we go there's my uh, white one done so for the black one <coughs> because there are no we need to worry about the edge. If you do get a little pull and you get a tiny little, little bit of, I don't know if you can see that, where their supports are put in, where in where it's created, you get these tiny little nub, nubbins. So try to remove these. If not, you can actually just use a little bit of cutters or use your nail and they just pop off. There we go. So let's make sure I've got no little hairs or anything. Yep. And then I'm going to give this a bit of a paint. Oops, got my hair there. I have a husky, so uh, I tend to get hair everywhere. So I don't want to go too heavy on the paint because I don't want it to hide all the detail. So if you do put a bit too much on, just paint it off, draw it across. Use that as a little supply of paint as I probably put a little bit too much on there. Take that paint off there, there we go, it's all come off. And then I can be again a little bit generous on the actual main part of the pauldron. So that's a nice smooth finish. You could leave them completely as they are and just leave them in their natural state. I just think they they just they just pop a little bit more when they're painted black. And when you're doing the multicolored ones there's really there's no need but the black ones just just pop a little bit more when they're all painted. But just be careful not to cover up any of the detail that shows because it's not super prominent because then it adds ridiculous thickness and makes them easy to snap. But there we go. So that's the black one drying. So I'm going to leave them for a little while and then we'll, uh, let, we'll let the Stormtrooper Pauldron fashion show commence. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more in the future or suggest some potential future makes, please subscribe. What a piece of junk!